What's up, everyone? Uh, welcome back to the latest episode of the series. I am the Football Ronin. Um, today is going to be my 11th stop here in the J1 League Tour. Today's stop is going to be over at Saitama Stadium. I'm going to be catching the game between Urawa Reds versus Sagan Tosu. Looking very much forward to it. It is a nice and sunny and very, very, very beautiful, precious day here in Tokyo. I am currently in Asakusa, the neighborhood, I believe, over here. Um, yeah, it's currently 2 p.m., 2.08 p.m. I started my day a bit late, I'm not going to lie. I uh, got turned last night. Um, had a great day yesterday. It was amazing, man. The craziest things just happened yesterday. Yeah, guys, so last night was insane. Um, I went out with a few people I met over at my hostel. Um, I haven't really been going out and exploring the nightlife. Well, yesterday I decided to, and holy shit, man, I didn't, I got really drunk. I got really turned. Um, everyone just kept offering us shots after shots, drink after drink, and I mean, it was cool at the time, but I don't know how I ended up, but I ended up on the train. I was going back to the hostel with my friend, from that, that stays at the same hostel and I woke up on the fucking train and my friend wasn't there like I was so confused but yeah dude like I didn't get back to my hostel till like 8 8 30 a.m and I was supposed to get there like at 6 I don't know what happened man I, I honestly don't know and I mean I'm glad I'm okay I just have like a little headache right now a little nausea and I'm feeling a bit nauseous I need something in my stomach uh, drink wise I think I want a coffee but um, yeah, man, what a night, what a day, man. I, there's so much to tell. <sighs> Tokyo has been incredible these past couple of days, guys. And I'm honestly pretty happy to just like stop like moving around too much because I've been going everywhere, man, everywhere. So it's nice to be just, you know, stable in one city again. It's really nice. Um, I, I, I keep telling you guys I need to work on these vlogs and honestly, I'm just having an amazing time here in Japan, so. Um, they'll slowly be coming out, be releasing. I don't know how. I think I might honestly sit on them until I get back to the States. I originally wanted to push them out as fast as possible, but it turns out it's so much, man. It's so much, and I really want to enjoy this, uh, you know, my, uh, this cold, everything. I just want to enjoy it all out here, you know? Look at this, bro. Tell me that's not. <sighs> Holy crap. What a view, guys. Wow. Uh, Alright, um, I need to tie my shoe. I'm gonna go get a drink. Yeah, I'm gonna go into this family mart real fast and grab an iced coffee. Maybe a snack. We'll see. Sir, the dynamic duel is back. All for 328 yet. Per usual. I met a lot of cool people um, here in Tokyo since getting back. Just throughout this trip, I've been meeting wonderful, wonderful, beautiful people. I had the luxury of meeting one, if not the, well, okay, the, the easily a top five lyricist, yeah, rapper in the game, man. Oh my gosh. Wow, dude, it is, what the fuck is life right now, guys? I, oh, I can't, man. My heart dropped when I saw him. Like, ah, oh, it was so crazy how my day just panned out yesterday. Alright guys, I'm gonna cross over this little bridge. Yeah. Dude, it is just a beautiful day today, man. Oh my gosh, I can't. Look at that. Wow, this is a good picturesque place. Photo ops. Oh my gosh, this is... I need some pictures out here, man. I didn't bring my tripod today. Fuck, I should have. I just didn't want to carry too much, man. I'm like dealing with this hangover right now. And I just don't want to. Yeah, I'll just Oh, there But yeah, guys, back to my story. Woo, story time, story time. So yesterday I planned to go play a, a pickup game, you know, uh, Shibuya. 
And um, I didn't realize, I guess you need a reservation. I could have sworn they told me last time that a reservation's not needed. But um, apparently it, it is. So I didn't get to play. And I was a little bummed. I was like, dang, it's that kind of day, eh? So, yeah, I just uh, hung out there. I, I brought my stuff to shower this time. Like, I brought my towel, I brought shampoo, I brought everything. <laughs> and basically, I just went there to shower. I went there to shower, I showered. And uh, I hung out there for a bit, watched uh, everyone else, you know, play. But I met uh, two uh, fellow Americans um, uh, from the East Coast, Beast Coast, baby. Uh, names are Drew and Ricky. Wonderful names, um, wonderful people. But yeah, I met them, um, started uh, vibing. And yeah, eventually um, they invited me uh, to go out and eat. Oh, Ken as well, sorry. Ken, Ken's a Japanese, Ken's a super cool guy, man. Super cool kid. But yeah, uh, they invited me out to uh, go eat. So I went out, I was like, heck yeah. I was like, I'm starving. Apparently this is Asahi headquarters. That's fucking dope. Oh, I actually need to cross through here. That's what it's telling me to do. So let's go give it a shot. This is fucking dope, bro. Wow, what is this? Oh my gosh. I fucking love Tokyo, man. Look at this place. Hey, this is the Asahi headquarters. We got brews here too. I don't know if I'm gonna grab a beer today. That's what I always say, and I end up getting one anyway. I just need to walk off this hangover. This is cool, man. This is really cool. So yeah, guys, um, I ended up going out to eat with these guys. Um, so we were, t we were <laughs> Ken's a local, obviously. So I thought he was gonna take us to like a cool little, you know, hole in the wall or something. My man takes us to freaking a department store restaurant, and I thought it was the most hilarious thing ever. I swear, I don't know. Um, but he took us there, and I'm fucking happy he did. Like, wow, meeting the chance encounters, guys. Fuck, I love it, man. Ah. Oh. Universe has just been great to me lately. Um, anyways, uh, so we went out. Um, we went up like 12 fucking flights or 12. You know, we went on the escalator. But me and Ricky were having a good conversation. So it went by fast. But we were just like, dude, this is going on forever. Where are we going? But the view was immaculate. The view, we didn't sit next to the window. But we got a booth, right? We got a booth. It's a cool little restaurant too, actually. Like the vibe was just dope in there. Um, we got a cool little booth on the at the entrance. like So we can see everyone going in and out, you know? So, yeah, we sit down, um, we're vibing, chopping it up. Tell me why, like, this presence just walks in and, like, immediately, I knew who he was right away. And I look over to, um, to Ricky and then I look over to, uh, Drew. And I'm just, we, we all just gaze at each other. We're just like, is that, is that, dude, it was the most insane thing ever. Oh my gosh, guys. It, what a crazy day dude we all when i tell you my, like my heart dropped my heart dropped man my fucking oh gosh i can still remember i, I was shook I, I don't get shook like that you know like I, i'm I, I don't really like fan go over people like that but man this man is just beautiful man his music is just beautiful he's a beautiful kind uh, kindred soul and you know like seeing him in tokyo after like I don't know, man. It was just the craziest shit ever. And like, yeah, man. So, yeah, his bright orange beanie, man. Oh, man. My man, dude. But yeah, he walks in. All right, I guess I should just tell you who he is, right? Why am I teasing y'all? Mr. Andre 3000. Mr. Andre 3000 walks into this restaurant. Oh, my gosh. He was accompanied by a woman. I forgot her name. We, we, we uh, introduced each other, but wow, Mr. Andre 3000 just walked into this restaurant, man. What are the odds? Literally, what are the odds of running into him here in Tokyo at the precise time? Like, what is that? What is his life, guys? I don't understand. I don't know what he was doing here. I don't know what he is doing here. Um, he told us not. Anyways, so we, we proceeded, you know, we were just like, just like, what's going on man uh, they actually sat him right in the booth right behind us so we were like 
overhearing the conversation. Not that we, I was trying. It was just like, bro, we could hear. Yeah, you know? I'm pretty sure they were overhearing our conversation as well. But yeah, man, he's he was very he's a very calm man. You know, like he's chill. But yeah, we proceeded to eat the udon itself. We, I, we ordered udon, all of us. And honestly, the udon was whatever. It was like, eh, you know, generic. And I mean, it was still cool. Uh, but yeah, man. Um, he did. He finished first. I don't know what they ordered. I don't know, but they finished first. Like they got their stuff and they left. Once they were leaving, I, I, I was like, dude, I, I'm super introverted, guys. So and also I was in the middle. So hey, you know, fair play. I. I but anyways, uh. I was like, I was looking over at Ricky, I was like, Ricky, you have to do it, my boy, you have to ask him for a fucking photo, like, do it, man. It's like, when else are you going to see Mr. Andre 3000 in person like that? And yeah, sure enough, he, he my man did it, he, he, he drew the strength and he asked Mr. Andre 3000, hey, man, I'm a big fan, like, oh, can I, like, maybe have, may I have a picture? And like, he was super chill, Andre is just fucking amazing man he was so sweet he was kind he was really happy he's joyful and you know i shook his hand i introduced myself you, you know matt we like properly matt yeah it's one of the firmest handshakes of all time what a handshake man i can't believe i shook my this man's hand dude oh my god it's in tokyo out of all the places and well yeah so we talked uh we, we just it was fast it, it seemed like he was um heading somewhere obviously but I don't know, um, it was short, but it was very beautiful. We took a picture. Um, I'll post it later. He asked us not to post right now because, yeah, personal reasons. But, yeah, what an amazing moment. What a, I will remember that and cherish it to my grave, man. I'll take that with me. It's so crazy. But, yeah, man, oh, what a fucking journey. What a journey, man. Yeah, so that's how I met Andre 3000, guys. Fucking crazy in Tokyo. What a fucking beautiful, beautiful day it was yesterday. And all these coincidences, all these chance encounters were just happening one after another. It was so weird. So weird, guys. So freaking weird. Like, I literally ran into one of my hostel mates. Like, it was her last day last night. That's who I went out with. I ran into her in Harajuku. And, like, what are the odds of running into her, you know? But that's not even the crazy part. Okay, so I already met a celebrity. I ran into my hostel. And then I literally. I ran into, um, I guess you could say, a, a, a mutual. I ran into a mutual, like, bro, like she's from California. She's from like OC as well. And I, I ran into her. I didn't say anything to her. So I, I don't know her on that level. And I kind of wa wanted to, but at the same time, it's I don't know. Like it, it was weird. She was with a dude as well, so I didn't want to like, eh. But yeah, no, I, I went to, I went to school with her sister, and I was just like, what the fuck, like. How is this happening right now? You know, it's weird. It's been a weird vibe lately here, in Tokyo. But it's cool. Um, been meeting a lot of people, hanging out, vibing. Right now, I'm just sitting, guys. Sorry for this lengthy talk, but I just I wanted I wanted to share this with you guys. It was an amazing day. But um, yeah. Uh, I guess I should go start heading to Tokyo Skytree now. But yeah, my hangover is slowly easing up. You know. But yeah, I need to go. It is 2:45. I need to start heading to the stadium around 5 p.m. I want to say, so I got a few hours. What a monster! Amazing, amazing stuff. All right, I need to cross over a little bridge, one more little bridge, and then I should be right there. This is a coffee. It's a Kisaten. It's a pretty cool little coffee shop. Sure. Well, what is this? It says hostels. Oh no, I think it's a. Oh, it's a hostel. This is a sick place for. Look at the community space. That's pretty dope. Huh. Gotta check out how much that is. Wow. This is amazing, yo. Let's see how much the tickets are. Damn, bro. Gotta check it out.
I know there's a Kirby cafe in here. I think I'm gonna go check that out. I wanna see if there's any good stuff. Okay, so the prices are right there. Or no. Oh yeah, they're right there. That's the pricing. So uh, twenty one hundred for just the three hundred fiftieth floor and thirty one hundred for both the three hundred and four hundred fifty. That's crazy. It's not too bad. Like I said, I don't think I'm gonna do it. I, I wish I wanted to, but I think I definitely would come rather come back at night. When the sun is setting. Let's just see where the Kirby Cafe is. Alright, I think I figured out where Kirby Cafe is. It's on the fourth floor. I was on the third. You know, it's just a matter of, oh my gosh, Hello Kitty. Oh god. I've been here, I remember being here. Oh goodness. Oh, I found the jump shop, of course. Mugiwara. Oh. Yeah, man, I, I stopped bringing my stamp. Uh, this, it's too much. <laughs> this is a cool little shop, though. There's one in a uh, Parko in Shibuya as well. Cool, guys. Oh, this is nice. Found the Pokemon. So. Wow, this is cool. I don't even know how many Pokemon there are now. Look at these, these are all new. I never seen more likes. Wow, oh, this one's actually a lot better than the one in Shibuya. I should kick it. I should kick it. So, alright, I need to buy souvenirs at some point. I think I'm gonna do it tomorrow. Just focus on souvenirs. I'll probably come back here. Look at this, yes, oh, kawaii. So I realized I'm probably not gonna have enough time to do other things. Yeah, it's almost like the Warner Bros. The studio back in England. Yeah, right. Cool. I forgot how awesome this place is. Alright, guys, I'm going outside. Yeah, some fresh air. Oh, this is cool. This is the Kirby Cafe. Yeah, so I just looked into the Kirby Cafe. Obviously, there's reservations. You need reservations. But, bro, there is no reservations available. What a trip, man. This place is insane. It can't be that good. Let's go look for some food. Cool. I think I might get something here. Oh god, I can't do beer right now. This is dope. Yeah, I may eat here if I can find something. And then I'll probably just head to the stadium. It is only 434. It's only 434. Let's find something. Grab on. So I ended up buying something from this place here. This is what I got. For 700 yen. Dig in. I'm not even sure what it is. It looks like ramen. Shoot, I don't know. We'll find out though. Let's see how it is. I'm gonna start walking over to this train station and uh, catching multiple trains and heading over to Saitama. Super excited. I had a pretty nice, relaxing day. My hangover is finally going away. That bowl of. I don't. I, it felt like it was far or something. Something Vietnamese. It, it really felt like a Vietnamese dish. But whatever it was, it was delicious and it hit the spot just the way I wanted it to. Just great, not too, not too harsh. Today has been amazing, amazing day. Wow. I'm like, just been a day to reflect on this past couple of weeks that I've been out here and just really, 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 you know, get in tune with what's going on around me, what's going on in my life. 
and honestly, I I can't be. I'm so grateful for everything, everything that's just happening. Like, wow, man, I've been meeting person after person, you know, and like they've all been such kind souls. I just wanted to get that out. Alright guys, just got to Tokyo Sky Tree Station. Just got off here at Shinkoshi Gaia Station and I'm going to be transferring over to a JR line and then that will be taking me to a different station and then from there I got to take another line uh, heading over to the JR line it is rush hour it seems alright guys just got to Higashi Kawaguchi Station now I gotta transfer over. Just got to Rawa Misono station, guys. It is hot. Oh, that's so cool. That's pretty dope. Tozen Tea Fika. World Cup. Wow, look at the sunset. Alright guys, some people are taking the bus. Me, I always prefer walking. Cool. Oh my gosh, look at that sunset, bro. Holy crap. This is so dope. Oh my god. That sunset is brilliant, guys. Alright, there's I'm gonna soda. Cool, guys. Just got myself a Red Bull. 220 yen. Oh, man. I wish I could watch this sunset from a rooftop somewhere. But this is cool, too. Walk into the stadium. Look at this. Nice. Amazing stuff, guys. This is way good. Definitely one of the most anticipated uh, stadiums stops here for myself like this is a site of uh it was a 2002 world cup venue uh my prediction for the game today i'm gonna say um urawa wins uh, i want to say two nil but saga uh, saga and Tosu is pretty they're pretty good too mm -hmm. i'm gonna say urawa two saga and Tosu one yeah that's my final prediction Man, that sun was insane. Livid, I am livid. Oh my god. Fuck. Alright, man. It should take me probably like another seven minutes to get to the front. I'll go ahead and present it to you guys soon. And I wish they had, like, like obviously, like in Mexico, they have um, Las Barras. Like, they sing to the stadium. I wish they had that here. That's what's missing. They do it inside the stadium, but it's like. You got you want to build it outside like leading up into it. Dude, look at this place. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay, this is insane. Wow, look at the sun, bro. It's <laughs> The sun is so red, guys. I, I don't know if you can see that, but it is incredibly red. 
just like tonight's stadium is gonna be extremely red. Blue Alamo Reds. What a game, what a day. Let me go and present it to you guys closer. All right, everyone. I present to you all Saitama Stadium 2002 here in Tokyo, or Saitama. The 11th stop in tonight's venue. What a wicked scene. Yeah, home to Odawa Reds. They will be hosting Saga and Toaster today. Let's go. Wow. So lit. And that guy's wearing a Columbus uh, crew jersey. Apparently he's from Columbus. Show match day program. Let's do that. Let's get that. I'm gonna get myself a match day program for 300 yen. Let's go in the fan shop, see if I can find a pin. This is cool. Yeah, so um, these guys were just crowned the Asian Champions League champions. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, they literally just beat Alcala, um, I think, on last week, last week. Let's go see what we can find. Oh, I am. Alright, guys, so I found this pin. It's 750. But then I also found this. This is so cool. I think I might get this instead of the pin. You know? I know I'm normally a pin guy, but... I just haven't had much luck finding pins out here, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and do this instead. Yeah? Cool. Let's do it. Alright. Let's do this, guys. Wow, amazing. Hey, you just got another little, like, trading card thing. It's dope. Heck yeah. Alright, I'm gate C2. Oh, I need to go in through gate C2. So that's this way. What's that over there? Oh, the world, what is that? I don't know. Oh, it's a champions, is this the trophy? Oh, that's lit, bro. Let's go check it out. I don't think I'm gonna line up, because, yeah, no, I don't wanna line up for that. But I definitely wanna take a shot of it. Wow. Pretty cool. Uh -huh. Wow. Amazing. Alright. Like I said, I'm not gonna line up for that. That's cool. Alright, uh, C2 would be this way. Alright, guys. How exciting. Yeah, I made it inside, yo. Oh, dope. Yeah, I'm crazy. I met a Columbus fan from Columbus, Ohio. He was cool. He was a little introverted, such as myself, so we didn't have a full on conversation, but hey, I love your stadium, guy. So. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of crazy to see someone else here. Yeah. Woo, okay. C6. Wow, this place is massive, yo. Yeah, so this place actually, uh, I believe, uh, holds about 63,000 people. So, yeah. And uh, it wasn't the uh, the venue for the final, but it was a World Cup venue back in 2002. Incredible stuff, man. I can't believe I'm stepping foot on this ground, man. Such a leg legendary, iconic stadium. So exciting, man. So exciting. I can't believe it. So I'm going to this one, and then I'm going to 
the Japan National Stadium on Friday, guys. Insane. Like, wow. I'm going to go to two back-to-back, -back, like, heavy hitters, dude. Like, that's insane. I didn't even plan to go on the other one. It just happened to fall on the 30th uh, anniversary of the J-League. But, um, yeah, so... Uh, I was supposed to, I wanted to go to Kashima to catch the Kashima Islanders game on Sunday, but they're actually playing in uh, the Japan National Stadium as well. So I think I might skip out on that one, unfortunately. Um, I know it kind of sucks, but I just don't want to go to the same stadium twice, you know? Not that there's anything wrong, I've done that before, you know? But it's just like, yeah. I, I think I'll end up coming back to Japan and doing uh, the lower divisions as well at some point. Not anytime soon, but I think um, eventually once I um, reach my first division, Stadium, I'll start going to lower ones because the only uh, lower divisions I do want to for sure do is uh, UK, the top four uh, England, uh, English uh, leagues. But yeah, this is me, guys. Let's go in. C2, baby. Oh man, I don't really want a beer, guys. But I might, I don't know, we'll see, we'll see how I feel. Anyways, I gotta find my thing. I'm gonna use the restroom real fast. Wow, look at this Japan versus Belgium. Oh, this is sick, bro. Wow, this is cool. This is cool. Wow, this is so cool, man. Cameroon versus Saudi Arabia. Wow, this is cool. I like that. I like that. All right, guys, just got this for 800 yen. Asahi. Pretty full, too, to the rim. I love it. Delicious.
Alright guys, game ends 2-0 uh, in favor of the visitors, Sagan Tosu. Um, pretty entertaining bout. about. Um, Urawa Reds played a lot better in the first half. Actually, they played pretty well. I just, they couldn't finish their chances. But yeah, I wish uh, Urawa would have scored. So, at least once so, uh, the crowd could have uh, enjoyed it a bit more. But nonetheless, uh, Sagan Tosu came out, man. They, they're, they're, they're playing well. They played really well. Defensively, they're just solid, man. I saw, I've seen them. One of their center backs, he's just a solid in the back, man. He's a freaking tower. So, it was hard to get past him. But yeah, man, I'm fucking... Ooh, my, my hangover is like almost gone, basically. I think it is gone. So, I definitely felt better. I definitely drank a beer, so... I feel a lot better, but... I'm gonna start heading on out, guys. Everyone's leaving. But the stadium is just oh, state-of-the-art. State-of-the-art. I can only imagine what it looks like when it's full. I really wanted to come to the Champions League final game here, the Asian Champions League final, but I don't know, it just didn't work out with my schedule, and I'm pretty sure those tickets sold out real quick too, probably on the pricier side as well, but yeah man, I'm going to start heading it back, uh, it's like an hour and a half from my hostel, yeah, I'm on the other side of town, this is Saitama by the way, this isn't um, Tokyo, but it's literally like border Tokyo, Saitama, so it's all good, I'll take a, take a train or two, and yeah, make my way back to the hostel. But yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoy uh, today's uh, outing. Um, like I said, uh, I had a late start because I went out last night. But I'm not going to do that again, man. No, 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 no. I'm too old to be doing this every other day or every weekend. I just can't do it anymore. But yeah, anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this one. Um, oh, the next stop. Sorry, the next stop's going to be on Friday. It's going to be over at the J J uh, Japan National Stadium. It's going to be uh, FC Tokyo versus Kawasaki. Frontel. That's gonna be a hell of a match, man. And it, the Japan National Stadium, bro. Woo! It's gonna be a fire one, guys. But as always, uh, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, I'll see you on the next one. Next episode. Football running out.